A grandmother who woke up from a stroke with a Russian accent has finally learned to speak fluent English again, by singing. When Rose Griffiths, 72, collapsed at her job after suffering a stroke in August 2014, she was shocked and devastated to wake up and discover she couldn't. Doctors warned the mum of two and her daughters, Lisa, 50, and Kelly, 48, that she would never walk or talk again. A former typist, the news devastated Rose, who had previously tackled a daily crossword with ease and loved English at school. Determined to prove doctors wrong, the grandmother of two from Liverpool, Merseyside put every effort into teaching herself to read, write and speak again. But when the words finally came to her she was shocked to hear she spoke with a Russian accent instead of her usual soft scouse twang. Have you got an incredible story to tell? Email webnews at mirror.co.uk. Rose developed a condition called foreign accent syndrome after her stroke, image, Chris Neal, Maverick Photography Limited. Frustrated by this and her inability to say whatever she wanted, Rose started to feel isolated and was left in a dark place. Rose told the mirror, I opened my mouth to try to speak but nothing came out. It was terrible, it's the most horrible feeling trying to speak and not being able to. When I finally started talking, the consultant told me I was speaking with a Russian accent. People were telling me I sounded Russian, Eastern European or German but I couldn't hear it because to me I was just speaking normally. When she woke up, she couldn't speak at all. Image. Chris Neal, Maverick Photography Limited. I want to talk the way I always did, because that's who I am, it's very frustrating. One gentleman was talking to me and he said I sounded Eastern European so he asked me, where do you come from? I told him, from here, and walked away. I felt so annoyed because it doesn't matter if I sound Russian or anything else because I'm not. Four weeks after her stroke, as Rose continued to struggle speaking fluent English, a doctor suggested she try to sing instead. Most read. Vladimir Putin plans to dominate Europe with chilling warning to Finland and Sweden. UK weather. Met office lift snow warnings as temperature to plummet to minus 8 C. Russia-Ukraine war live. Putin's invasion could fail in days if Kyiv continue to resist. She initially dismissed the idea, but after giving it a go she was stunned to hear her voice project clearly and beautifully a full sentence or lyric with. She said, when I sang for the first time, it felt marvelous. I felt like I was finally regaining some power back over my voice. I can't speak fluently but I can sing a full song perfectly. When I go to choir they talk as much as I sing. My daughters come to watch me perform and it makes them very emotional, they are proud of me. Now Rose sings every week with the Brain Charity, S Choir. But now Rose has found her voice again thanks to the Brain Charity Choir. Starting as a volunteer at the charity five years ago, it has become a safe haven for Rose to speak with other people with a brain injury or condition who can relate her own experience. Today she also works in the cafe, which is often the first place someone visiting the Liverpool-based hub may come to, after their own experience with a life-changing brain injury or event. She said, I want to help people feel better and know that things do get better. The brain charity has been like heaven for me, so when people come here and tell me they can't speak I tell them, why don't you sing? People say, oh I can't sing, but it doesn't matter what you sound like, it's about using your voice. In the last four weeks, Rose has been able to make more progress than she ever has in the previous seven years, thanks to a new speech and language therapist. Working with the charity. Kellyanne Lee is a new addition to the organization alongside a brand new, Neurogym, thanks to an anonymous £50,000 donation from a late former service user. Rose is also a volunteer in the Brain Charity Café, Image, Chris Neal, Maverick Photography Limited. Don't miss. Vladimir Putin plans to dominate Europe with chilling warning to Finland and Sweden. Mum of 22 Sue Radford moans she's living to work after nine holidays in a year. Russia-Ukraine war live. Putin's invasion could fail in days if Kyiv continue to resist. Driver offers Russian tank crew lift home after they run out of fuel in Ukraine. Tui Benjamin Thorpe, head of communications and fundraising at the Brain Charity said, When I first met Rose, because of the pandemic, she found it much more difficult because she hadn't been talking.
If you don't use it, there's a danger you can lose it. I think what is really frustrating for people with aphasia is that you can still see the sentences fully formed in your head but it's the connection between your brain and your mouth getting it out which can be affected. A lot of people if they have had a brain condition which affects their speech or communication they might not want to leave the house, go to the shops or anything where they have to talk. We often take being able to talk for granted but it can really impact what you can do day to day which is why we try to make the brain charity a really safe welcoming space for everyone. Read more. American woman, 21, wakes up with strong New Zealand accent after two weeks in coma. Read more. Sick trolls tell me to kill my baby just because he's different.